Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We're going to start with Bitcoin at number one, followed by Ethereum, BNB, XRP, uh, Solana, Cardano, and then we'll end it with Dogecoin at number 10. Let's get straight into it. Bitcoin, Bitcoin against USD. Uh, for the past one week, uh, there was a very large rise that, that came, zoop, we zipped up. So I'm like, hey, okay. So that's why uh, the Bitcoin dominance has already hit uh, the 54% target. So what's next after this? We are anticipating Bitcoin dominance to hit lower eventually. Because on the skinny pink line for Bitcoin dominance, we are already at it. So yeah, we're also overbought. So I'm expecting a retrace eventually for Bitcoin dominance. Ta -da! Okay, it's been hit. Ta -da -da! We've been expecting this. Um, but okay, for Bitcoin, we are you know, still in a very bullish move towards the upside. This is a very big green candlestick, right? The previous week was also a very big green candlestick. So more upside for Bitcoin? Yeah, more likely than not more upside, right? Uh, we have a noisy area over here at around 30, sub 39k. So I suspect we could be heading towards this noisy area. And then after that, so we have a very, you know, uh, brief retrace in my opinion and we're anticipating the uh, bullish trend to continue for Bitcoin. So this is where when Bitcoin is slowly crawling its way up uh, is where the opportunity comes in for altcoins. There are certain altcoins that are going to do very well and there are also certain altcoins that are not going to be doing well. So uh, we have been going through all of the altcoins uh, throughout uh, the previous weeks and you know, there are lots of op opportunities here and there. So yeah, there we go. Ethereum against BTC. Here we are for Ethereum. We are <laughs> hey, compute co continuing to point towards the downside. Uh, any signs of a rally coming on? Not yet. But we are very severely oversold. So if you are ever interested to, to put on a trade for FBDC, you don't you don't go long when things are overbought. You go long when things are oversold, right? But doesn't mean that just because it's oversold, uh, it's going to be uh, going back to new highs, right? Uh, there was a moment here, a brief moment here where we were oversold. So what happened? There was a rally again. Oversold, what happened? Kind of weak rally. So now we're oversold. What kind of a rally are we going to get? Is this going to be a very strong type of a rally? Or is this going to be another weak rally just like this? We don't know. But more likely than not, there should be a rally not too far away. F against USDT, which means that we're expecting Ethereum to display strength. However, for Ethereum against USD, we still have our 666 target, right? The devil, uh, and we're still anticipating the possibility of uh, Ethereum zipping down to 666, right? If Ethereum starts returning back up and we form an inverse head and shoulders, then yeah, we could be heading higher, right? This could be a bullish continuation chart pattern coming along for Ethereum, but we have yet to see it. So if you were to make a trade for Ethereum, we will be late because we want confirmation. We don't want to be rushing into anything. At this point of time, it could still go both ways, right? Because this is a very clear support line uh, that yeah could just continue zipping lower. So yeah, we're anticipating that possibility, right? Uh, even if you were to see a rally, this is still a very you know, quite a big rising channel, rising wish, which could still hit lower. So I don't know about, about whether if that's going to happen or not. You know, we're still loyal to our targets over here, but we're already marking around at a skinny pink line. So once we break back up above the skinny pink line, convincingly stay above it, then yeah, sure, uh, we will switch our bias to bullish. But, you know, we cross the skinny pink line and now there's a rally. So uh, I don't really feel good about this. So until we see display of strength, uh, we will remain cautious for Ethereum. BNB against BTC. Here we are for Binance. Binance coin continues dropping lower. I don't know if this is the big head and shoulders that has just broken towards the downside. Uh, there is some support around this area. So around 5,000 or 6,500. So a little bit more towards the downside. However, again, just like um, what we were seeing for Ethereum BTC, we're oversold. We're oversold. The last time we were oversold over here, right around these areas, was a big rally that came. Again, we're already oversold. So there should be a rally coming on. So will this be a weak rally or will this be a strong kind of rally? We're not too sure ourselves. But uh, the best time to go long is when things are oversold. Not when things are overbought, right? 
So I don't know about uh, BNB. Even if you were to make a trade for BNB, we will be late. We will wait for confirmation first. BNB against USDT. Here we are for BNB. Uh, yeah, we were aware that there was a double bullish divergence, a lower low on the price, but higher low on the MACD, higher low on the RSI, zip up. Ooh. Uh, we were saying that uh, there is also a target over here, 173 and 122, just like Ethereum. Again, we still remain loyal to our targets. These were targets that we acquired way back in November 2022, and we still expect more downside, right? We're already one year uh, holding these targets. Um, to, to be honest, we would love it uh, if, we, if we were to be wrong, right? We go back above the skinny pink line, stay above it, continue higher. Best bullish case scenario, right? But the bearish case scenario still exists over here. Why? Because it's a very big descending triangle. Could be that could be heading lower, right? Uh, so yeah, again. But BNB it's, it has been very, you know, previously over here there was a very nice descending, right? We zip down, and after that there was a very strong rally back up, right? Uh, and yeah, we, we could do something like this as well. Zip down, one, two, two, strong rally back up, right? So yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see how things go. We're gonna have to wait for confirmation first. XRP against BTC. Here we are for XRP. XRP continues to drop lower. Again, we're not particularly oversold yet, but there's so many clusters of stop sales around here. So if, if I were to be the whale of XRP, I would zip the price down, eat up everybody's uh, stop sell over here, and then only do I push the price back up. If I were to be the whale of XRP, right? I'll probably do something like this. But yeah, again, I, I think there's more downside for XRP BDC, right? We don't have any hard targets, but mm, doesn't look bullish to me. XRP against USD doesn't look bullish. It looks bearish to me, right? Not everything uh, is rising. There are only certain categories of coins that's actually zipping up, right? AI, real assets, DeFi, right? These are the three categories which is actually rising. All the coins within this category uh, are rising, right? All the other categories, right? The old gods, like the OGs, like XRP, BNB, Ethereum. <laughs> they're weak, they're weak. Uh, there are other alts, you know, that we've been going through. Mm, if you've been paying attention, you will know what are the coins that we are looking at. Uh, but yeah, XRP is not looking good. So we're anticipating the possibility of more downside for XRP. I still strongly feel like we're going to be sweeping up all of this clusters of stop sales over here first. So sub 20 cents is still not out of the picture yet, right? We we had a very nice rally over here, but we didn't sustain it, right? We were slapped back down. So it feels to me like there's another another slap coming on for XRP. So be very, very careful about rushing into a trade distance for XRP. Solana against BDC. Here we are for Solana. We're above the skinny pink line, but the rally is so weak. And we're already overbought here once, another time here, twice. Right. Um, Again, did we sweep up? Okay, we haven't swept the highs over here yet. So I suspect something like this could happen. A rally, take out the highs, and then we come back down. Right. Um, best bullish case is we just slowly crawl our way up. Up and out of the skinny pink line. So this will be the confirmation of a new trend change for Solana against BDC. Right. We're, we're already above the skinny pink line. So if you were to click the eye, yeah, we're above the skinny pink line. And if we were to stay above it, then great. But if we get slapped down, then ladies and gentlemen, um, we are forming the second mountain. This is either going to be a descending, a lower mountain, or this could also be a head and shoulders, a higher mountain, right? A descending triangle and a head and shoulders, they're both just different varieties of a mountain range, right? So again, we are, we're going to have to wait and see how things go. We're not entirely sure yet. But Sol BDC, we still have our target over here at 2000. Sol against USDT. Here we are. Again, this, this feels like a rising wedge, just like Ethereum. It looks a, a lot like Ethereum. Um, every time we rally, there's a slap rally. We get a slap rally. Oh boy, I feel like there's a slap coming on uh, for Solana. We already took out the highs over here. But is this sustainable? Are we going to stay above? Uh, you see the wedge? Do you see the wedge? I just strongly feel that something like this could happen. Uh, but we're above the skinny pink line. So, uh, if we continue to just crawl our way up, consoli consolidate, spike up, consolidate, spike up, then yeah, great. Uh, this would mean that the bullish trend continues for Solana. But in terms of tradability, it doesn't look bullish to me. Not, not as, you know, in terms of a bullish continuation chart patterns, it's just not there yet. We just don't see it, right? Uh, this was a very nice one that came, right? 
not exactly nice, but it was a symmetrical. We were above the skinny pink line. So obviously you remain with a bullish bias. What happened after that? Yeah, we broke out after consolidating just a little bit. But at this point of time, yeah, nope, 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 nope. There's nothing much for Solana. So we're moving on. Ada against BDC. Hey, what's up, Charles? Uh, we have 730 here as our target. We're at 859. Ooh, just 100 more. Not too far away, another 15%. Uh, we're anticipating the 786 uh, Fibonacci retracement ratio to be hit eventually. Uh, we've been anticipating this for months and we still think that um, yeah, it's more likely than not uh, going to happen for ADA against BDC. But ADA looks beautiful uh, in the bigger time frames. Absolute thing of beauty, especially against BTC. So if and when the bull run comes for ADA, Right. It may not be the 2024-2025 run, right? It may be delayed uh, until the year 2027-2028. But if and when the run comes for ADA, ooh, it's going to be a thing of beauty, right? But you might have to wait another four or five more years before that happens. So, yeah, we've been in a downtrend for a very long time. Very long time, right? At the top over here, where we here. 792 days. That's two years we've been in a downtrend. And we're under the skinny pink line, so we respect the skinny pink line. There were some attempts to break back up, but we got slapped down again. Attempt down. Yeah, so we respect the trend. Respect the trend. ADA against USDT. Here we are for ADA. Uh, it's, I don't know if this is going to result in a move higher, but you can just cut across the wicks here, and you can see this as a descending triangle as well. So ADA could still head lower. We could still breach uh, sub 20 cents. It's not really looking that good. Um, best bullish case is we break above the skinny pink line. Oh, and then we consolidate and continue higher. Best thing that could, ha that could happen, skinny pink line starts curving back up. Oh, confirmation of a new bullish trend, right? Break above it, continue. Ah, oh, bullish trend, boys and girls. But if we break above it, we cannot sustain the move any higher. We drop lower, then yeah. you know. But the point is, we're still under the skinny pink line, so the bearish trend is still intact. Although, when bearish trends end, we go sideways for a while before going back up. So this could be the foundation that uh, the ADA wheels are laying for a new trend change towards the upside, right? Uh, just a like chain link. Mm, Dogecoin! Dogecoin against BTC. Here we are for Dogecoin. Uh, nothing much for us to work with. Dosh against USDT. Okay, Dosh USDT looks, looks scary. Do you see this? It's a descending triangle. Ooh. So we still have our two targets over here, 2.7 and 2.2. So sub 3 cents is still expected at this point of time. Uh, at what point do we consider everything to be, you know, all the, the, the downwards move to be invalidated? Yeah, break above the skinny pink line. Go close to the highs over here. Again, okay. form something like a ascending triangle maybe. Go higher, yeah, skinny pink line close back up, then yeah, sure, we will switch to a bullish bias. But again, we will be late because we want confirmation first for Dogecoin because Dogecoin doesn't look bullish to me. This is not what you would call as a uh, bullish reversal chart pattern. This is not a reversal. This is, if anything, it's a big bearish chart pattern that's pointing towards two cents, potentially, for Dogecoin. So I don't really like this. So be very, very careful about rushing into a trade too soon for Dogecoin. There are other coins that are actually doing well, like Pepe is doing very well, but we are not all meme coins. You have to be very selective and you must have an eye for consolidation. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's top 10 crypto tier. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta-da!